Um, my name is Cornelia Engel, and this is my case study, Parental Apathy for EDL 856. Um, category one is problem identification and analysis. Um, after reading the case study, um, I know that there was a new um, assistant principal, Mrs. Rose. Um, she has noticed that there is limited um, school community contact, um, limited um, parent contact from the teachers or from the school. Um, there is no PTO or PTA. Um, the school does. The principal doesn't seem to think this is an issue. Um, Mrs. Rose has um, addressed this issue with him, um, and she has taken classes about um, the importance of school community relationships. And um, the principal doesn't seem to think there's an issue. Um, he does not actually support a PTO or PTA or the um, creation of one. Um, he feels the community doesn't want to be involved. Um, Whatever um, communication he has had um, has led him to believe that um, the community doesn't actually want to be involved. Um, Mrs. Rose, um, based on the classes that she has taken, feels that there is a need for a parent-school relationship. Um, the principal eventually agrees to hold a parent meeting um, to see if they can form a parent's advisory committee. Again, he's not supporting a PTO or PTA, but maybe just a parent committee. Um, announcement is sent home um, with the students on a Friday for a meeting a week from the, um, the, the upcoming Monday. Um, so it gives the parents about a week at notice to um, figure out whether or not they're able to make that meeting. Um, eight parents show up to the meeting and the principal feels um, that maybe they should cancel it. The next part is what do we need to know? Um, the first thing I'd ask, wanna ask is did the parents see the letter come home? Um, if it's a high schooler, maybe the kid stuffed it in their backpack and never even gave it to their um, parent. If it's an elementary student, um, maybe parents aren't home when they get home and didn't get a chance to check the backpack on a Friday and things just got kind of lost over the weekend. Um, you know, maybe kids left them in their lockers. It really depends on the age group. Um, are parents able to meet at that time or do they have prior commitments, um, work, dinner, family obligations, or is a kid playing a sport? Um, again, what grade level is the building, high school versus elementary school, really changes the situation. Um, what are the obligations of the community? Um, you know, is this a community where um, you have parents that are working at night? Um, is there a factory in the area? So that way maybe, um, depending on shift change, there aren't parents at home um, when students are getting home. Maybe it's a community, um, you know, maybe it's a community situation. Um, what are the views of parent-teacher communication? Are the teachers um, making an effort? I know the principal has an, has an issue with communication. Does the, do the teachers as well? What types of resources are available to the, to the school in order to communicate with the community? Um, is there an all-call system? Is there a website? Do, do the students have emails? Um, do, does the school have the parents' emails? Um, what kind of ways does the school communicate? Um, are the parents who did show up interested in creating a committee to connect school and community. Like, why did these parents come? Um, what are they interested in? Um, and how can you build from there? A couple of problems. First problem, there is no school community communication. This is a problem because if the community doesn't know what's going on, how can they support it? So the main problem is how to facilitate communication between the school and the community. Um, the problem within this problem is why is there no communication? What is the school doing wrong and how can that be changed? Second problem is the principal doesn't seem to think there's a problem. Um, if he doesn't see an issue, what does the rest of the staff think? Um, the problem within this problem is how can we change the staff's view on the importance of communication? Proposed plan. Um, as the assistant principal, I would encourage um, the principal to still meet with the parents that did show up. Them coming obviously means they value um, the relationship and want to be involved. Um, I would definitely ask them what the best methods for communicating are. Um, is it text message? Is it email? Is it um, Twitter? Is it um, going on um, the school's website? Is it a newsletter home? What's the best way for us to communicate with these parents? Um, you know, what's the best way to communicate with the parents that are there? And then um, do they know what their um, what the other parents use and what the other parents prefer to use as communication? Next, find out how these parents want to be involved. 
Are these parents that want to be involved in field trips? Do they want to be able to volunteer in their kids' classrooms? Do they just want to know more about what's going on? Do they want a newsletter home that says, hey, this is what we're doing this month, this is what's going on, um, just to kind of keep them up to date. Maybe you have parents that are not able to be there during the day. Um, again, you don't know what the community's um, work situation is and whether you know what kind of goes on in the community and what's going on with the parents. So until you learn that and see how that affects it, you, um, you know, trying to figure out what the parents want out of the school community relationship. Um, you know, ask them if the community values this, um, this relationship, because if it's putting more pressure on the parents, then parents aren't going to be willing to participate, but maybe the parents do want to be involved. Um, again, letting parents really choose how they want to be involved in their kids' Um, education, whether they want to um, be invited to programs, whether they want to be a part and be a part of what's going on, or whether they want to read about it later. Um, again, before they leave, these parents leave, I'd be asking them for um, their contact information and um, best time to meet them, and be sure to make um, them aware that I really appreciate them being there. Um, after the meeting, I would send personal notes to the parents and let them know that um, we appreciate their involvement, we appreciate them taking time out of their schedules to um, be involved in their students' educations. Um, again, then I would take the information that I received from them and really review it, um, kind of break it down and look at it, determine um, you know, any patterns I see, and then share that information with the principal. Um, I would really take a close look at the communication aspect as far as what the best way of contacting parents is. Um, I would use the building's website as well as creating a flyer, flyer to advertise um, the new ways for us to communicate with parents um, and the rest of the community. Um, I would use email when email is possible. Um, I would like to create a remind class, which is a method for sending um, text messages to parents and community members. Um, I'd like all the teachers to have one as well as one for the building itself, so that way um, Teachers can send out messages to let parents know what's going on within their classroom, but then also um, the principal and I can send out messages to let them know what's going on within our building. I'd also um, check the school's policy to see um, what the policy is in regarding creating a Twitter account or using social media to contact parents and community members that way. Um, if the parents are wanting to be involved, I would like to create work to create a community night. This would be a night where a community could come in and um, see our building. Parent, teachers would um, be encouraged to um, stay and just show, show the parents and the community members what's going on in their classrooms, um, maybe create a display, um, put some writing samples out or some art, um, maybe have students demonstrating something. Um, I would encourage um, the entire building's um, participation and really explain to them the value of um, building this relationship and how bringing parents and community members in for something fun can really benefit the whole school later. Um, after um, doing this, or in order to do this, I would send out um, an invitation about two weeks in advance to really give parents the um, chance to make um, schedule changes, to um, work things out, if um, for some reason they have you know, other conflicts, um, try to be able to be there. I would use um, email, remind, um, tweet, again, post it on our website, send home hard copy invites. Just really try and make sure that the community knows that they're invited and they're welcome. After inviting the community to a couple of different events, like the community night, maybe a music performance, maybe an art show, I would again invite parents and community members to come and learn how to be more involved in our school. Before the next meeting, I would sit down with the teachers and staff members to come up with ideas on how the community can support them. It's really important for the teachers to be involved in this as, um, you know, they are the school. They are, um, you know, they communicate with parents or they need to be communicating with parents um, more frequently than they are and um, even on a daily basis. So, you know, can we use parents to volunteer on field trips? Can we use them to volunteer and come work with the, within the classrooms? Um, do we need help in the office? Do we need help in the cafeteria? Do we need help um, at recess? Where do we need help and how can parents come help us? Um, I'd also want to meet with the principal to ask him how he'd feel based on the support that we've received um, if a parent group 
could be created if there is um, if there is enough um, involvement or if there is enough interest. Based on his um, input, I would continue with the parent meeting to see how involved the parents want to be. Um, you know, now that we've got an idea of what the school is looking for, um, is this what the parents are looking for as well? I would give parents different ways to be involved. Um, again, not all parents are able to come to school um, during the day, but maybe if we have a program at night, parents can volunteer at night. Maybe they aren't able to volunteer, but they could create um, a mailer or make copies or do something um, at home, uh, make phone calls, um, give them lots of different ways to um, participate within their students' education. Um, again, there would be a way, maybe a Google form or um, a way of contacting the school to let them know that their in parents are interested or community members are interested in participating, but maybe they couldn't make it to that um, meeting that night. Um, I would also encourage uh, parents and community members to, um, you know, express interest in um, being involved in any way they see fit. Um, we have, in, you know, maybe we have somebody who has a, um, a dog, a therapy dog that they would be interested in bringing into the building and um, visiting the different classrooms. It might not be something that we thought of off the top of our heads, but that a community member would like to be able to share with our students. Um, I would work with the principal and teachers to see communication as a positive aspect um, and work with the parents and community members to encourage the support of our students. As involvement starts to grow, I would hopefully um, be able to encourage more um, communication, which would hopefully lead to more support. Um, how did we do this and, um, you know, why is this beneficial? Um, a strong community school relationship is beneficial to students and therefore what's best for them. Um, if parents and community are involved, they will be able to support students. When parents are involved in daily aspects of school, students realize the school and support are a team and the school and community are a team. Um, this support is um, important because students usually have higher grades, behavior is better when parents are involved. Um, the students can also benefit culturally from a community involvement. If there is a diverse culture, um, having strong community involvement can help students learn more about the community's culture. Um, the things I was thinking, feeling, and valuing during this um, case study, I really thought about the, how important the relationship between school and community is. I thought of the benefit of having that strong relationship. Um, I valued what the community can do for the school. Um, I also thought about ways that the school could um, benefit the community. Um, I thought about the best ways to um, communicate with the community and how to invite them in and welcome them in before expecting anything from them, um, before asking them to help us, um, really letting them come in and visit our school and see what our school has to offer. I also thought about the principal and his um, and valued his views as the leader of our building. Um, you know, he really dry, is the driving force and what he thinks and um, also what the teachers think. Um, some things that I need to investigate further is I need to work with the principal and encourage his support of the PTO or PTA. need to learn more about what other buildings within our district do and see if we can model something similar. Really um, see what works for them and see if there's something that we can do um, that would benefit us that might um, a model already may be in place. I um, also like to see what the community's perspective is, of us is through maybe a survey. Um, I think that needs to wait right now. Um, the results could create a bigger rift between school and community, so I'd want to wait, but I think that's something that should be, um, you know, looked at in the future. Um, reflecting on um, making sure that I really um, responded in, um, in different ways. So collaborating with family and community members, I invited all the community members to be involved in the education of the community's children. Made sure to invite the whole community to participate in community nights and other fun activities. Held a, um, additional community school meetings to brainstorm how the community can be involved. Um, as far as responding to diverse uh, community needs and interests, made sure to contact the community in many different ways and provide different ways for them to be involved. Um, under, I understand that not everybody can be involved in the same manner, so I made sure to give lots of different ways and um, you know, go and make sure that there was things um, during the day and night so everybody has the opportunity to be involved when it best suits them. And then mobilizing their resources. I realize that the community has a wealth of experience and knowledge that um, they can share with the school and just um, 
you know, by allowing the community to share their resources, it'll really support the students and just um, just the things that the community can can give to back to the class and the class can give back to the community. That's really important. Thank you.